At Christmas time, I can't resist but read and reread the prophecy of Isaiah. Isaiah 9, in verse 2, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. In verse 6, for unto us a child is born, to us a son is given. The Gospels echo those words, but no longer a prophecy, but a fulfilled reality. The light has come. Each year we are drawn to the narrative, Bethlehem, the stable, the star, and the gifts for a king. If you follow this story all the way through, you will know that not only did Christ bring light, he left with us responsibility to also bring light into what is often a dark world. We identify with John the Baptist in John chapter 1, where he says he himself was not the light. He came to witness to that light. And this is totally in keeping with the Matthew version that says in chapter 5 and 16, let your light shine before men. Uh, we recently visited Papua New Guinea. And in both the Eastern Highlands and in Port Moresby, our people were singing words from the Motu language. And when we translate the words, it gives us this. You have called me to do your work. And so I promise to carry the light ever burning. By the power and might of Christ my Lord, I will carry the light. These words depict the call of God to each of us who know Emmanuel, God with us, to carry the good news, to carry the light. Sadly, our, our world desperately needs good news. Uh, we need release from the tyranny of war. We need hope in the midst of many forms of oppression. And we need light in the dark moments of the journey that we have. We are hopeful that this Christmas, families, neighborhoods, churches can gather and celebrate. We are asking you to join us in carrying the light, letting it shine, revealing the Savior who has come. So from us to you, it's Merry Christmas to you and all of yours. And don't forget, into this world, carry the light. <laughs>